how does HD zero penetration compare to analog penetration? Um, I think HD zero is close to on par with analog watt for watt. I definitely think there are times when HD zero looks like it's about as good as analog watt for watt. There are two problems with that. A lot of the time, HD0 looks worse than analog watt for watt. Maybe a lot is unfair. Uh, some of the time, it looks worse. It, 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 in terms of range, sorry, I'm, I'm being a little, let me, let me try to be precise with my speech. HD0, in terms of its image quality and resolution, looks better than analog all of the time. But in terms of usable range, like I fly into a building and I start flying through the bando and I go one room deep, two rooms deep, three rooms deep, how far do I get before the signal breaks up so much that it becomes unusable? I think there are times when it is on par with analog. There are other situations where it seems to do worse. HD0 seems to do particularly bad in multipath environments. Like a, a building with a, a big open a cattle ring or rodeo with an auditorium with a metal roof, right? Something like that, multipathing, a warehouse. I don't know, do you fly in warehouses a lot? Do you fly in the woods where there's like very little multipath? Um, the other thing is that HC0 maxes out at one watt, but with analog, it's easy to get 1.6 watts or even more. 2.5 watts is out there, not too hard. And so if you, and analog is going to be cheaper. So you're going to spend 60 bucks on, except as we learned today, maybe today that same $60 video transmitter is now $100. I don't know. But you're going to spend maybe half of what you'll spend on the HD0 Freestyle on like a 1.6 watt or maybe a 2.5 watt analog VTX. <coughs> Excuse me. That's going to have more power and potentially more range than HD0. So... So I think in the real world, HD0 often does worse than analog. Like under under just the right conditions, HD0 will do as good as analog, but seldom much better. 